Thank you for everyone that is here. Um, we're going to get started with the meal, first of all, and then afterwards we'll follow with the presentations. It's my pleasure to welcome the Reverend Stephen Moody from Haverhill, Massachusetts, to uh, give the blessing and the invocation for the beginning of our dinner. If you come up here, sir. Pray with me. Almighty God, we thank you for the opportunity to come before you tonight to, to honor those who have done service to others. And we pray that you would bless this gathering, bless the food that's been prepared for us, bless those who have helped to put this together tonight. And we pray, God, that you would help, help us to remember as we go through this evening how important it is to, to serve others, that you'd remind us of the power of community, that you'd remind us of the importance of service, and that you'd remind us of the potential within each and every one of us to make a positive impact on someone else's life. Thank you again for all of your blessings, and we ask that you'd be here with us as we honor those who have done service to others. In your mighty name, amen. Let's all stand, and we're going to give the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Started, uh, first, I would like to introduce uh, town manager James Bellissimo. All right. Hello, everyone. Hey, hey. Well, it's an honor to be here. Um, a wonderful tradition for our community for us to get together and celebrate um, what makes Berwick, Berwick. And I have the distinction tonight to present the Boston Post Cane, which is a tradition dating back to 1909. The Boston Post newspaper sent canes to 700 towns in New England. The canes were designed for everyday use and were made from black ivory shipped from the Congo and Africa. They were topped with 14 karat gold heads that were decorated by hand and engraved with the inscription presented by the Boston Post to the oldest citizen of the town. The custom of the Boston Post cane took hold in those states and towns lucky enough to have canes. And as the years went by, some of the canes were lost they were stolen, destroyed by accident, taken out of the town, or simply not returned. And as a result, some towns now present plaques commemorating the award, said the actual Boston Cane. That's what we do as well. For more than 100 years, the Boston Cane has contributed, has continued to be awarded in hundreds of small New England towns where it remains a celebration of a rich and long, well, long life well lived. This evening, we honor Susie Natalie Coffin, whose name will be inscribed on the town hall plaque, along with the Berwick's first cane recipient, John F. Robinson, who was born in 1833, and more than 20 others. Susie Natalie Coffin, or Natalie, is 97, and she'll be 98 next January. Natalie is known for being a good friend, a good person, and good for the town. She is never afraid to give her opinion on when asked. Natalie is a longtime resident of Berwick and has always cared about her town, from attending town meetings to exercising her right to to vote, to picking up trash on the side of 
Kerber Meadow Road during her many walks up and down the road. Natalie could be seen walking the road in a safety vest given to her by the town crews who wanted to keep Natalie safe in a brown industrial group cap that belonged to her husband who once drove trucks for Brown. Natalie worked for GE in Summersworth until she retired. During her tenure at GE, Natalie and her mother both lived in apartments above Spence and Matthews where Natalie could look down and keep an eye on the town she loved so much and keep an eye on her husband too who worked at Gibbs Garage. And for those that don't know, Gibbs Garage was located in the building that is now Gateway Gas. Natalie attended Berwick Methodist Church and the First Congressional Church in Summersworth and was a Berwick Cemetery Association trustee for several years. Natalie was always more than willing to pick up a shovel and help with the project at the Evergreen Cemetery. Natalie loves animals, from the birds she loves to feed to her beloved poodles. Over the years, there were Sassy, Daisy, and Baker. She sometimes thought they were better than, her, than people. Her love of animals could be seen on the license plate on her spotless blue and white Chevy pickup, which read Daisy C. Everyone knew that truck. If you are lucky enough to visit with Natalie in her home, you will likely find a fresh bouquet of flowers and evidence of her many crafty skills, from sweaters for the little ones to alterations for friends. To know Natalie is to know Berwick, what it means to be a good person and friendship. Tonight, please join me in recognizing our Boston Post Cane recipient, Natalie Coffin, good person, a good friend, and a good part of Berwick. Thank you. Thank you, James, and congratulations, Natalie. It is my honor tonight to present a certificate of appreciation to a very special Berwick resident, Terry Wright. Terry Wright is a lifelong resident of Berwick and is the director of Berwick Community Media, formerly known as Berwick Community Television. Terry started as a volunteer in 2012 and wrote the first BCTV operational plan in 2014. In 2017, she was hired as part-time coordinator, and in 2018, she became the full-time director. Terry's background is in education and organizational development. To that end, she has worked hard to ensure that BCTV provides residents with information that educates, informs, and entertains. In 2018, with Terry's leadership, BCN successfully negotiated an agreement with Comcast to increase cable television franchise fee from 2.5% to the full 5% allowed by the FCC. In the agreement with Comcast, BCM received a capital improvement grant for $112,000, which was used to upgrade the server and provide viewers with streaming options for two channels, expand broadband to the two remaining roads in town, and build a new control room studio that can fit more than one person. She has taken the station from one that produced mostly government meetings to one that produces and streams school events and meetings, local nonprofit events, public service announcements, and so much more. Terry began with no experience in video or in running a cable access television station. She educated herself in the operations of the station and learned video camera use and editing. The station began with one channel, Comcast 22, and added a second channel, Comcast 95, in 2019. Each carries programming 24 hours a day. Programming is also available on YouTube and on demand. Berwick Community Media has grown under Terry's leadership. 
There's also a BCM monthly newsletter and Facebook page. To give insight as to the dedication Terry has given to the town and the impact BCM is having on our town, you only need to look at the YouTube channel, which has 1,370 videos and 124,735 views. These videos include town meetings, school board meetings, school and town events. Terry handles all day-to-day -day operations, scheduling, equipment upgrades, and troubleshooting, budgeting, video recording, editing, and training. She also attends many committee and nonprofit meetings and events. Terry also creates many of the slides on the slideshow and assists nonprofits and community groups in learning how to create their own slides. She has encouraged others to produce videos for the town and offers training to any resident wishing to learn how to use the equipment to record their own events, and she can also assist with the video editing. I've taken Terry up on the way on the use of the equipment and her help with editing myself when our church had the bishop come and bless our new hall. Some of the groups Terry has worked with include Burry Public Library, Charles S. Hatch American Legion Post 79, covering the Memorial Day Parade and Service, the annual car show, Flag Day ceremonies, biannual citizenship recognition dinners, and Veterans Day remembrances. Envision Burwick Committee, which includes Open Farm Day in July, and lawn chairs in Sullivan Square, and informational meetings. House of Hope, Burwick United Methodist Church, MESD 60 school programs covering concerts, plays, and graduation services at Noble High School, and MESD 60 board meetings, Noble MS virtual program, EL Knowlton school program, and so much more. Terry? From the office of the governor of the state of Maine to Terry Wright, dear Terry, on behalf of the people of Maine, congratulations for being honored at this year's Berwick Citizenship Recognition Dinner. Your work at Berwick Community Media over the past 12 years has been very impactful for your local community. You have been critical to the organization's success and its ability to withstand all the challenges that local media face in this day and age. Your work to ensure Burke area residents can view local government meetings, events, public service announcements, and more is greatly appreciated. As governor, I wish to thank you for your commitment to local media and the greater Burwick community. And I wish you continued success in the future. Best wishes, Janet Mills, governor. And on behalf of the Charles S. Hatch Post 79, Terry, I want to thank you for all that you've done. Now to present the Noble High School Student Volunteer of the Year, Ms. Chloe Steinauer. Come on up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's my privilege to be able to present the Student Volunteer Award this year to Chloe Steinauer. This award is presented to Chloe, a Berwick student currently enrolled at Noble High School, who has achieved academic excellence and whose commitment to community service exceeds the graduation requirements of only 60 hours. Chloe, the daughter of Brian and Melanie Steinauer of Berwick, is a Noble senior with a GPA of 4.12. Chloe's community service hours will be about 450 by the time she graduates in June. She has been an excellent teacher's aide to Mr. Eaton for all four years of her high school education. Chloe has also volunteered this year for two and a half days a week at the Noble Middle School in the Special Education Department with Mrs. Weber. She observes instruction in the classes, prepares material, and works with students in the classroom as a student coach. Students have benefited from Chloe's extra help and has gained insight into the work of special education teachers. She is always kind and students value her help in their learning. 
They look to her to help them understand their lessons in front of them, but also to prepare for the high school years ahead, both academically and socially. Chloe has been outstanding civic-minded student for Noble High School. She was the founding member of the Noble Ambassadors, a group focused on welcoming new students and improving the school climate. She has also been an active member of the civil rights team. Chloe sets a great example as a student and a volunteer at Noble High School and has a positive impact in her local community. She's an advocate for other students and has a passion for helping others around her. This young lady has dedicated herself to helping and teaching other students and is well deserving of this recognition. If Chloe could come up. Chloe's certificate reads, for her outstanding record of volunteerism while a student at Noble High School, Ms. Steinauer has donated hundreds of hours of community service. She has spent many hours as a teacher's assistant at Noble High School and has been a mentor to special education students at Noble Middle School. Ms. Steinauer was a founding member of the Noble Ambassadors at Noble High School, a group focused on welcoming new students. Chloe is a graduate of the class of 2024 with a GPA of 4.12. This significant accomplishment is both noteworthy and laudable. Ladies and gentlemen, your student volunteer of the year. Thank you, Kathy, for our missing <laughs> Thank you, Kathy Sheedy, for presenting that. Um, today, it is my honor to recognize the 2024 Warwick Firefighter of the Year, Anthony Trussell. Tonight we have the honor of presenting the Firefighter of the Year Award to Anthony Trussell. Firefighter Trussell joined the department in 2015 as a junior firefighter, and while attending high school, he earned his Firefighter 1 and 2 certificates. He continued his interest in the fire service by enrolling in the Southern Maine Community College's associate's degree in fire science. And while taking classes, he also participates in the Wyndham Fire Department's live in student program. And as if that isn't enough, he still provides coverage in Berwick when time allows. He continued with his education and most recently earned his EMT certification through the National Registry and completed all his driver training for the department. Whether it is working to a building fire, assisting EMS providers on medical costs, or just following orders given by those above him without hesitation. Anthony has proven to be loyal, committed, and a person who gives 100% of himself to the town and the Berwick Fire Department. He also picks up open shifts throughout the year and specifically on holidays such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's so others can spend time with their families. With frequent displays of his commitment to training, his determination to improve himself, and his dedication to the department, Anthony has proven himself an extremely valuable member of the Berwick Fire Department. Please join me, Anthony. The Certificate of Outstanding Service is awarded to Anthony Trussell, Berwick Firefighter of the Year. In recognition and appreciation of your commitment to the Berwick Fire Department and the residents of Berwick, your dedication to training and education, combined with your determination to improve your skills and knowledge, have shown that you're an extremely valuable and dedicated member of the Berwick Fire Department. Your willingness to give 100% to the town and the Berwick Fire Department, when needed, has shown you to be a loyal Berwick firefighter worthy of being this year's Berwick Firefighter of the Year. This certificate is presented in recognition thereof. Congratulations. It is also my honor tonight to present the 2024 Berwick Police Officer of the Year tonight to Christopher Kearns. Officer Christopher Kearns has been a member of the Berwick Police Department for eight and a half years. 
He started in 2015 as a reserve officer and quickly became full-time in December of 2016. Officer Kearns was raised and lives in North Berwick and graduated from Noble High School. He attended and graduated from the Maine Criminal Justice Academy Basic Police School in 2016. While working as a patrol officer, he earned a state certification as a field training officer and assists with the training of newly hired police officers. He also holds a firearms instructor certification and works on the department's use of force and firearms training program. Officer Kearns has received two departmental commendations for his exceptional work. The first was presented to him for his discovery and interruption of a commercial burglary on Portland Street in Berwick in the early morning hours of February 11th in 2022. Officer Kern's work concluded with the arrest of four out-of-state suspects and was clearly a result of the thorough police work that he consistently performs. The second commendation, and most recent, was his outstanding work under highly stressful circumstances involving a home invasion on Key Road in Berwick on the evening of September 9, 2023. In this incident, the resident was stabbed several times by the suspect, suspect leaving life-threatening injuries. Officer Kern's immediate response and the instantaneous decisions that he made under extreme stress undoubtedly helped save the resident's life. Officer Christopher Kearns is currently assigned to patrol functions. He is an exceptional police officer and employee and produces a consistently high level of police work with very little in fanfare. He is, in my opinion, is a model police officer and has promising career in law enforcement, hopefully right here in Berwick. Officer Christopher Kearns is an asset in all respects to the Berwick Police Department and the community of Berwick. It is my honor to nominate him for the Officer of the Year 2023. This is signed by the Chief of Police, Timothy Town. Certificate of Outstanding Service is awarded to Christopher Kearns, Burke Police Officer of the Year. In recognition and appreciation of your commendable and exceptional work at the discovery and interruption of a commercial burglary which concluded with four out-of-state arrests and for your outstanding work under highly stressful circumstances involving a home invasion where a resident was injured, your immediate response and the instantaneous decisions you made under extreme stress helped save a resident's life. It is through your continual efforts to keep the public safe and protect public property that you have earned this certificate of outstanding service awarded this day, uh, 27th day of April, 2024. Congratulations. Congratulations. It is also my honor tonight to present the 2024 Charles S. Hatch Post 79 Commander Mark T. Pilgrim Student Americanism Award. And I'm awarding this tonight to Ms. Faith McIntyre. In recognition and appreciation of donating your personal time and talent by playing taps at local events, parades, and national holidays, for several years now, whenever the Post needed a volunteer to play taps, you stepped up and on more than one occasion saved the day. Your skill on the trumpet brought solemn dignity to the gatherings whenever you played and provided the highest form of honor and respect for the many veterans who have gone before us. You're distinct, you distinguish yourself through hard work and dedication and a patriotic spirit rarely seen in today's youth. Your unselfish con contributions to Post 79, our local veterans and their family and the Berwick community are an outstanding example of good citizenship.
I'd like to have uh, Mr. Ron Vigue come up and make a presentation for the Mark T. Pilgrim Americanism Award. Ralph, I use this microphone. Chief Pilgrim, 
to do another one.
22, a young man in town took his life. Liz and Justin offered, at no cost of the family, to host a funeral lunch, help the family coordinate donations, and co-sponsor the Out of Darkness Walk, honoring this young man. This walk helped to raise awareness of mental health and suicide prevention. And the, and the restaurant staff wore t-shirts that weekend of the event to help support the cat, the cause. Let's hear it for Liz and just again. Lismo, come up to present for the Citizen of the Year. Hello again. So when I was asked if I wanted to present the Citizen of the Year, I asked, who was it? I said it was Rick Rains, and I go, yeah. Even though you may have not been the biggest fan of the town at the time, um, I, ju I just, my short interactions with Rick, um, I just think you're a, a man of integrity and, and a great citizen of Berwick. We have known Rick for a year, but when I was asked and I learned it was Rick, I'm like, yeah, that's, it, it's easy for me to say yes, because that's just, just the, the guy you are, the citizen you are. So I'll get into the script. The 2024 Citizen of the Year is a longtime Burke resident and businessman who has given selfless, selflessly to our town for many years, especially through scouting. Carpenter by trade, Rick uses his skills and connections in the contracting world to aid others whenever possible. Re repairing, replacing roofs, connecting security cameras, building shelves, positively affecting the lives of many, especially Berwick's youths. Rick Raines joined the Boy Scout Troop 313 as an adult volunteer in 2004 with his son, Hunter. He became a scoutmaster in 2005. And tell me if you've heard this lie before, it's only one hour a week. I fell for it too. And has not looked back since. During his tenure as a scoutmaster, Rick guided 17 boys through the scouting program to achieve the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest attainable rank in scouting, earned by only 4% of scouts. Many of these scouts have recognized the impact Rick has played in their lives, played in their, their scouting life by awarding him a mentor pin at their Eagle ceremony. Rick's commitment includes weekly scout meetings, special events, monthly PAC meetings, council meetings, camperees, jamborees, Klondike derbies, award ceremonies, summer and winter campouts, canoe trips, parades, and he had so much time he also joined planning board. So much more. He has personally dedicated hours and years to study, train, and improve Berwick's scouting program. Rick is the man you want in the crisis as he is trained in CPR first aid, 
life-saving, outdoors, and wilderness survival and water safety. He is also a member of the Maine's Pine Tree Search and Rescue Team. He is also the proud owner of a Wood Badge, a scouting leadership program and related award for adult leaders earned by attending an advanced national leadership course. Even more notable, Rick is the recipient of the Silver Beaver Award for distinguished service to young people within his local Boy Scout Council. Rick has a way of not leaving any scout behind. You need a uniform, he's got a brand new one in your size at home, bring it next week. You wanna to go to camp, you'll find some extra money in the treasury. Due to Rick's dedication, Berwick Boy Scouts have attended the Philmont Scout Ranch, the Boy Scouts of America's largest national high adventure base in northeastern New Mexico three times and taken a contingent of scouts to national jamboree gatherings where they can meet fellow scouts from across the country. A recognized leader in his community, Rick sets the example for Berwick's younger scouts, conducting joint events like scouting for food, taking part in the town's Memorial Day Parade, and attending patriotic observances such as Flag Day and Veterans Day. Bringing younger and older scouts together on a regular basis shows our youth how to be a good citizen while having fun at the same time. Rick, through your leadership in the Boy Scout program, you've touched the lives of hundreds of young men, helped them build character, and laid the foundation for them to become patriots and leaders. For giving freely of your time and talent to the youth of this community, and for contributing to the advance, advancement of success of scouting, we proudly name you Berwick's 2024 Citizen of the Year. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can we have Tom Levine step up, please? Hey, thanks. So before I get to what I'm supposed to do up here, just so you know, Officer Kearns, it was my home that was broken into, and it was my son that was stabbed. Um, my family, my friends, we owe a great debt to Officer Kearns and Sergeant Pilkington. In a 15-second altercation, they were standing over the bad guy at the nine-second mark. You can't do much better than that. So thank you. So for those of you that don't know, I spend quite a bit of time in Augusta uh, as your state representative. Uh, I am honored, I am pleased to leave this with Rick, and it says, be it known to all, we the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives join in recognizing Rick Rains of Berwick, who has been named Berwick 2024 Citizen of the Year for his selfless contributions to the youth of his community and the advancement and success of scouting. We extend our congratulations and our best wishes. And it be ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 131st legislature and the people of the state of Maine. It's signed by the Senate President, the Speaker of the House, and the clerk who probably did all the work. <laughs> That concludes our presentations for tonight. I want to thank everyone 
for coming. Uh, especially, we'd like to thank the mainly local yokes for the wonderful meal and uh, the Boy Scouts of Troop 313 who did a wonderful job in serving and for Berwick Community Media, Ralph's back there with the video, thank you so much and for the committee and the committee members who worked on putting this together, I'd like to recognize the, the names on those. Uh, Andy Bachman, Bucky. South Brian English. Lisa Hustis, who is the committee chair, and did a fantastic job. Kathy Sheedy. Tony Sincata, who is not here tonight. Paul Haberzadel. Colonel Roseanne Martin, Frank Underwood, there he is. and our own Ron Vigue. Thank you so much, Ron. Uh, that concludes us. I would ask uh, Reverend Moody to come and give the invocation. Lord God Almighty, our creator and provider, we thank you so much for this opportunity to be here to honor these who have served others. We know that you've instilled in each of us a desire to see others served, but there are some, God, who go above and beyond. They truly think of the needs of others before the needs of themselves, and we pray that you, God, would... Uh, would especially bless each of these who have been awarded tonight, every nominee, that you would keep your hand of protection upon our first providers, that you, God, would help us to, each one of us, leave this place with humility and gratitude for those who serve others and instill that heart of selfless service in each of us as we go. We ask this in your most precious name. Amen. Thank you for coming, folks.